All right, here we go. We're gonna do a test. This is the scooter batteries, right? The scooter batteries, these are 40 uh, volts, right? Uh, 42 volts, fully charged. So I have two in series here. So that means that I have 80.9 volts. Now I have a 2000 watt inverter here. If this thing turns uh, anywhere input voltage range is DC 45 volts to 90 volts, right? So at the 42, that's uh, what, what is that? 42, 84? Fully charged, these batteries will be 84. So this is within the range of this one. And then this one converts it to uh, output voltage, AC output, uh, 230 volts, right? And then it's a range of 185 to 265. So I have two 220 volts on this cable here. That's what my lift there needs. So I put a plug in there and I just plug this in there. Now I'm gonna plug this in here and it's gonna try to do, it's gonna try to make 2000 watts from these two packs in there. I believe these are 40 amp packs and 2000 watts at 80 volts. That's about 20 amps. We should be fine. We should be within the range of these packs in here, right? Anyways, I have this meter here. We'll be able to track the whole thing. Let's hook this up. Hopefully nothing blows up. I haven't, this is brand new. I haven't plugged it in at all. So here we go. We might see sparks and smoke and stuff. Okay, there we go. What do we got here? We got nothing. This thing turned on. 206 volts. Let me take this thing off. Oh, 57 watts. Look at that, 57 watts, 500 watts. Okay, here we go. Oh, 30 amps. Oh, I thought it was gonna be less than 30 amps, but it's loading up those cells at 30 amps. my vision going I kind of see um, there we go 1800 watts and it's loading that at 31 amps um, yeah these cables are starting to get warm they're kind of on this on the small side these are, they all should be about this right here, but look at that. That's not bad at all. So I'm, the reason I'm testing this is because I'm going to do a power wall based on these, these batteries, right? And so I didn't know if I was gonna do one S, right, or one battery. So 42 volt uh, power wall, it looks like I'm gonna go into a, uh, a 2S, right? Two in series here. And it's going to be 36, uh, 70, 75, 72 volts? Yeah, 72 volt uh, power wall that I'm gonna make with these packs. And then I'm gonna use a couple of these guys to do up to 4,000 uh watts right and these are the ones that have a sensor here they have a sensor that will measure how much power you are using and it'll try to match it so that you are zero net zero and so that's the cool thing about these guys these are super cheap i'll put a link on these um they're and they work really good because at the higher voltages then the mosfets uh, you know, it's low amperage, right? I mean, look, the this almost 2,000 watts here in the biggest amp draw, it's on the battery on the low side, but the low side, it's not really that low. It's, well, it's, oh man, it's sagging like, it's sagging uh, 12 volts, but it, look at that, it's 32 amps. I think if we had more of these in parallel, 
these packs would be able to hold this uh, voltage higher, closer to 80 amp, uh, 80 volts, and so this 32 amps would be lower than that. I can I can feel the heat coming out. Yeah, so this is only doing 1800, I think, because of the sag on the voltage. Once we build the power wall, then that's gonna be, I think, a pretty solid 2000 watts out of here. Maximum possible, right? So there we go. The testing continues. By the way, let me show you the, uh, this is the, the uh, enclosure that I made. It's all aluminum or aluminum for you guys that say it like that. This is all gonna be stacked up, a ton of these. Uh, I think it's gonna be on close to 20 kilowatt hours, I think. Because these are pretty, pretty efficient, these space, pretty, pretty dense packs. Okay, that was a good test. Let's disconnect this guy. There we go.